Greetings, Final Fantasy VI hackers. This is Edrin from ff6hacking.com, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on um, expanding your NPC sprite sheets to, uh, to full PC sprite sheets. Um, this will allow you to make your events a little bit more robust, a little bit more animated, um, take out some of those awkward uh, movements and awkward pauses that those NPCs make during uh, events because they do not have the same um, sprite actions available to them that your PCs have. Uh, so you need a couple things in order to get this done. Um, a hex editor should be obvious. HXD is what I'm using. Um, a lot of people use Windhex, but um, I use HXD. Uh, you will also need uh, FF3 USME, which can be downloaded in the tools section of FinalFantasy6Hacking.com. The link will be in the description. And you also need a sprite sheet um, for whatever NPC you're trying to expand, which we have a large database of uh, PC sprite sheets. Um, one little note, though, your uh, PC sprite sheets that you're downloading here will not be formatted to uh, fit the palettes that are um, currently set up with the uh, game. When you're loading them in, uh, they're going to look a little bit garbled. So you actually need to rearrange your colors with um, with GIMP or Photoshop or uh, something like that so that they import correctly, which I've already done here. Um, and this tutorial will not be covering that, um, but I'm sure that you guys are smart enough to figure that out if you guys are doing something like this. So. Um, without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to be expanding Arvis today, um, and we're going to see a little bit of what he can do. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is copy the sprite data in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a um, copy of the ROM that I'm not going to use for the actual game. Um, I need this in order to uh, get Aris's sprite data moved to a new location. So I'm going to go ahead and import him right here into where Terra is. And this is Arvis by Ob Ugh. Oddbark and Poco Loco. Excellent spriters. And uh, just to make sure that the colors work, Arvis is on palette 4. And again, um, if you're following along and you import Arvis, you're going to notice that his colors are actually all messed up. And what you need to do is rearrange the colors in the palette um, with uh, GIMP or Photoshop or whatever else um, to match palette 4. So once you do that, you get him imported, you get all your colors fixed, you know, make sure it's all set here. Then you're going to go ahead and save your ROM. And next we need to open up the ROM that we're actually going to be using and make sure that it's expanded. There's no space if you do not expand. So you need to make sure that that is expanded. And uh, now we need to copy the data over to um, a new location. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the file where we imported Arvis's sprite sheet. And I imported where Terra was, and so we see that stretches from D5000 to D516AO. So from here. And uh, if you do not know why I ended up at 150000 instead of D50000, then you probably shouldn't be watching this tutorial. So 16A0. And we're going to copy this. And now we're going to open up the one that we're going to expand and we need to paste it to a new location. Now, um, I like to keep things kind of symmetrical, so I'm going to take it to F5, the very beginning of F5. And so this is going to be go down to F5, 1, 6, A0. Now 
and paste it in. So now we've just copied that whole sprite sheet to a new location and absolutely nothing is pointing at it. So now we need to make sure that the game knows to look at this sprite sheet when it is calling Arvis. So the way that we do this is we have to um, edit the banks where they are called. So there are pointers in the CO bank um, and it's actually split into two parts. Um, there's a bank pointer and there's the uh, location pointer in the bank. So the bank pointers are here. So we're going to go to COD23C and it's you see it's D520, D520. These two zeros are for something else. I don't remember what that is right now. But D5 is the bank. And so every other one is going to be one right here. Um, and if you want to check to see where Arvis is supposed to be, you come in here and you just go through to you find Arvis. And I happen to know that he's at in the 29th spot technically 30th since we're starting at zero. And so I need to change the 29th one here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And changing this to F5, which is the new bank, where the bank where the new sprite sheet was imported. And now we have to go to where in the bank it is. And so those are located at DCO, D0, F2. And same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And this is what I'm looking at right here. And if you guys want to check yourself in ff3infotext.txt, um, you can actually go down and you can see that Arvis is supposed to be in D7 1A CO. And so we see CO 1A. Um, that's a hex thing that those bytes are in um, a backwards order. But we paste. So we're going to change these values right here. We know we're in the right spot. And we pasted to F5 0, 0, 0, 0, So 0, 0, 0, 0. And so that's going to fix um, Arvis's sprite sheet. Now from here you actually have to do some event editing, which is again not covered in this tutorial. That's another whole other uh, whole other bag of worms, can of worms. There's the phrase. Um, but I happen to already have one set up so that you can see what we're doing with this. So this is Arvis with an expanded sprite sheet. So that's it. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, this will allow you to make your NPCs um, a little bit more animated, make your scenes a little bit more interesting. Um, this is actually going to be the first part of uh, what will hopefully only be a three-part tutorial on um, expanding PC, the total number of PC sprite sheets available to you. Um, the next part will be on um, getting your uh, additional sprite sheets added to the um, battle sprites. 
so that you can battle with these additional sprite sheets that you're adding. And uh, the last part I'm actually still working on will be adding your sprite to the OAM data, which is your shop menus, your party select screen, uh, making sure that all of those display properly. So assuming I get that figured out, you will see two more tutorials um, on expanding your sprite sheets to uh, make totally new additional usable sprite sheets allowing you to greatly vary the uh, number of characters that you can um, throw into your game. So that's all we've got for today. Thank you guys very much for um, listening and watching and as always, happy hacking!